Hey, there's so much habitat down here. They could literally be anywhere. Yeah. It's like an endless maze of swamp. All right, guys. So it is the middle of a heat wave, uh, evening time right now. And we're gonna be spending the entire weekend looking for rainbow snakes in an area where very, very few have ever been found. And if you know anything about rainbow snakes, even in areas where they are more common, they are incredibly hard to detect. So the likelihood of us actually finding one, um, it's pretty slim. So we're gonna be deploying two main tactics to find this snake, potentially, which is road cruising and shining. We even are gonna bring walkie talkies this year so that we can split up and cover more ground. Anyway, it's starting to get dark, so we're gonna hit the roads and we're gonna get to cruising. All right, we just cruised the snake on the road. Hope go back this way, buddy. We're gonna send him the direction he was going, hopefully. Oh, God. oh my goodness. Okay, maybe not. I can pick him up, but whoa. All right, he'll figure it out. We we're gonna help him, but those guys poop and bite all over you, so <laughs> we were not exactly jumping to pick that guy up, but uh, he'll find his way across eventually. Not many people on this road. Alex has got another snake over here. I was hitting the brakes. That's a water snake? Yeah. Dude, it's acting funny. Is that algae on its back? Yeah. Here, if you shine the light on its head, I'll get a little up close of him, because we didn't get a good look at that last one. Yeah, look, he's got the algae. Looks spotted almost. That's funny. Maybe give him a little tail poke and we'll send him across the road. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I would pick him up, dude. All right, getting this guy to the other side. <laughs> Not cooperative. No. Oh my gosh, dude. Go down. Oh, big frog. Utilize. You have frogs to eat. Okay, guys, we've got a copperhead right here. Whoa. Which uh, is a very common snake in this area. As you can tell, he's very heated up, and uh, we're gonna make sure he gets off the road. <laughs> Holy smokes, try our best. Okay, there we go. Just chilling out, whoa. Um, okay. No, not in the car. We get some footage, oh. All right, he's getting off the road, so we're gonna just let him on his way. All right, so we just met up with uh, Dave, and uh, he cruised this pretty little rat snake. Uh, this is a black rat snake, but right now, it's got a nice, Silvery gray color to it, and uh, you mean eastern rat snake? Sure, whatever. Allegheny ansis. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, nice eastern rat snake, which in this area is typically black in coloration as an adult. But uh, this young one is nice and gray, and it's got some kind of probably not coming out whatsoever on camera, but it's got some kind of pinkish purpley hues, which is kind of cool. But we're just gonna let it off the road and keep cruising around. Neat snake. All right, we're getting the, whoa, he's already striking. And the dogs are barking. He looks like he's gonna move out on his own. Got a copperhead here if it needs to be said. Oh, look at that. Whoa. That's a pretty one. Careful, he's like real wired. All right. See you later, buddy. We're right in front of someone's house and the dogs are barking, so we're gonna keep the encounter short with this thing. I'm sure we'll see more. Oh, really? Oh, Alex got a rough green snake. I'm looking at this water snake right here. Little double up, double stop. Do you shine it in the trees? I guess, I don't know how else you would find it. Oh, this is nice. Look, this water snake's hunting. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. All right, so here's a little bit of a better look at that green snake that Alex found. Nice looking, big adult. 
That's a handsome one. I that wouldn't a nice one. hate taking a picture of it, but I don't want to stop. It's a good looking snake. It's got some nice yellow on the face. They're really beautiful snakes for this part of the world, you know? They are. You kind of take them for granted, but it really does look pretty tropical. That's cool. All right, well, we're gonna move this guy off uh, back into the bushes where Alex found him and keep looking around. All right, bushwhacking back in to let this snake go exactly where we found it, as we do, because uh, if we're gonna mess with these things in the first place, the least we can do is make the effort to get them back where they belong. There it goes. Under this rock we have an eel, and this is the primary food source of the snake we're looking for. Let's see if it moves. Eels are like impossible to catch by hand. Yeah, just in the rock. I was just walking through the woods and look at this. A frog just shimmied up into my shoe. You wanna <laughs> tickle him out for me? See if he comes out the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we literally just emerged from the swamp and this copperhead crawled onto the road. He's active for sure. Okay, come back this way. The way you're going. He's not cooperative. This is the first copperhead I've seen at this spot in all the years we've been coming here. Dave Team walking away in the background. I don't usually notice that stuff while I'm filming. <laughs> yeah. And then it's after that I do. Alright, this copperhead's getting off the road. So uh, we're gonna leave him to it and keep hiking around. doing buddy all right we're just getting ready to start cruising but uh, I don't know what was up with that Fox I don't know if it was unhealthy or if people were feeding it or something like that um, it seemed super interested in coming up to the car and I didn't want to get out because I didn't know if it was unhealthy or anything like that but uh, hopefully he's okay and uh, yeah I'm not sure but we're gonna get cruising soon Oh, he's trying to eat that stink bug. Um, where is he? Do you see that? He had his mouth yeah. open. He might eat that thing. I wonder if the stink bug stunk it. Oh. I just think it's sitting really still and it's undetectable. We're walking through the marsh right now and we've got tree frogs left and right. We've got one there. And look, we've got one sleeping right here. These are green tree frogs, which are really, really cool, honestly. Sweet. Is it focused on it? Has it got it? Mm hmm That's cool. All right, we just cruised a green snake. That's pretty cool. That's a really skinny one. It is, yeah. Or a slim one. Let's get a better look at it real quick while it's in Alex's hand. We've already found one of these this trip, so um, if snakes are moving, we want to maximize time on the road, and we're going to keep time with this snake. Kind of to a minimum, but we'll get a little bit of a shot of them real quick. Dang, that's neat. This is really late for a green snake to be crossing. I mean, as you can see, it's like 
It's gotta Just get about out of the dark. trees. It's getting frontal. Yeah, I guess so. You kind of see that sometimes with these big fronts. Yeah. Green snakes just start hustling. Mm -hmm. But anyway, should we move them across and uh, set, him set him free? And we're gonna keep cruising around. Things are looking good tonight. All right, we got a copperhead right here. I'm wearing flip flops, so we're gonna have to be cautious for a moment. Check that out. Pretty snake. Relatively good looking one, kind of light in color. Yeah, he just passed. He drove right past. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Well, see you later. <laughs> Got a huge water snake with a big food bolus right here. <laughs> Jordan chokes on a bug and my camera's completely out of focus. Anyway, it's got a huge back end full of fish or bullfrog or something. So we're just gonna leave it alone, as we would anyway, <laughs> with a water snake. Look how big this guy is. Oh my God. Oh, he's angry. That's a monster. Wait, is that? He's no. grip, That's right? the rusty. Invasive? Yeah, got the gorilla grip. Hold him up Aww. so we can see him good. <laughs> now it's her carriage. <laughs> Let's see what he's got under the hood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh weird. All right, throw him back. <laughs> got a snapper right here. Should I give him a quick pickup? That's, That's a decent big. sized snapper. That's like a medium large one. He looks cranky though. No, that's kind of big. No, that's that's not a really. This is a baby. Yeah. Oh. Infantile. Ow! Ow! Whoa! <laughs> ow. Grumpy. Ow! Ooh, yeah. Ow. Chub cakes. Lord. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Give him a tickle. Ow. Give him a tickle. Okay, I'm I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. Ah, he's on me. <laughs> that's the worst. If you ever get stuck in a, you let a snapper go. Look, he would have bulldozed me. There goes our buddy. It was a short-lived encounter because he was clawing the absolute heck out of my hands. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Breaking down. I'm just gonna sit down here in the water. <laughs> and wait till the eels peck me apart. I'm gonna video of you just laying face down in the stream. <laughs> How you doing? What's the update on the my rainbow? My legs are covered in cuts and I'm bleeding everywhere. I probably have leeches all over me. Yeah, he had a leech and he's like bleeding out at the ankle. <laughs> probably gonna have infections. Yeah, so Yay. morale is, uh, I just feel like my morale is stagnant. I'm not happy, not sad. Yeah. Just, I, I just want it to happen. I've wanted it for so long. It can't break us. We're yeah, it can't break us. <laughs> you just go face down <laughs> in the swamp, <laughs> fall in a hole. <laughs> so many years, you can't break us. Amen. You know what to expect. Folks, well the sun is getting low in the sky and this is actually our last night that we're gonna be looking for these things. It's been a grind so far uh, as expected. We've seen tons of copperheads, uh, a couple green snakes, rat snake, uh, nothing to blow the socks off, but you know, here we are having really high standards and obviously we appreciate all that, but we're gonna mix up our strategy a little bit tonight. We're gonna start shining a little earlier in the night and cut down on our cruising window because Dave is actually gonna be cruising while we're shining, so hopefully that changes things up a little bit and uh, you know, we can't feel too defeated here with what we're going after, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs> little nighttime turtle action. Yeah, just a little turtle. Hold it up like <laughs> so you can see how big the back is. Huge. Oh my goodness. That's like twice as big as your head. And let me yeah. tell you, Alex is an egghead. <laughs> an <laughs> egghead idiot. Been made before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, uh, look at the pattern on that carapace. It's a pretty nice uh, female red-bellied cooter, I suppose. And uh, look at the 
yeah, not so red on the belly, but mm -hmm. uh, old and faded. And let's get a look at that face real quick. Don't get too close. Yeah, it was gaping its mouth a little bit. We don't do a whole lot of turtle time on the channel here, but that is a big one. Pretty cool. Alex is gonna put it back where it was and uh, we're gonna move along. All right, so check this out. This is hilarious. So I saw this, uh, well, I guess what? We saw this tiny little stink pot, which I'm gonna get more footage of because it's adorable. And I, I thought it was a, a stink pot, which is a Eastern musk turtle slang for them because they musk um, and they're stinky. But I saw this little guy and I did a double take. I was like, oh, it's a little turtle. And I'm like, oh wait, that's not a turtle because it's so camouflage and mossy. And I'm like, wait, wait, it is a turtle. And then I saw a big musk turtle and it got away and I reached my hand and grabbed a painted turtle. I let the painted turtle go because we see lots of those. And then I saw these two different musk turtles swimming away. So we've got like a medium large musk turtle, probably a young adult, a medium one, and then this itty bitty baby. But man, these are some of my favorite turtles um, that we have around here. I just think they're so neat looking. They've got these funny shaped shells. Um, they're just cool. All right, so here's a look at the biggest stink pot. Uh, I actually, like these are some of my favorite turtles around. They're just so cute. They remind me, I don't even like, I don't play video games much, but they remind me of those like, uh, like those things in Halo, those aliens that are like really squat and they like run at you. A handsome turtle. Turtle hunting in the swamps. All right, let's take a look at the next one. All right, and here's this medium one. I love the eye stripes on them and how pointy the nose is. Like it's just super cool. All right, and last but not least, we'll take a look, take a look at the baby one. <laughs> look how tiny that is, that's adorable. Oh my gosh, that is <laughs> so adorable, dude. Oh my god. Look at that long neck boy. Mm. That is so cute, dude. It's like teeny and the little blue eyes. Are they blue? Yeah, oh, they are. Silvery blue. That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little picture of them. <laughs> so cute. All right, we'll let all three of these go. They're just the baby one. Shooting around, he's right there. Going right down in the muck. Here's the medium one. Here's the big one. See ya, buddy. Yeah, these guys went right in the mud. All right, pretty awesome. All right, well, uh, fun night in the swamp. Uh, I love stink pot turtles. I think they're super cool. And we got to see that giant red belly turtle. So we saw like the biggest turtle possible and the smallest <laughs> turtle possible. Yep. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail. Maybe that'll be the uh, <laughs> whatever. But anyway, we've got like a five hour drive home and it's 11 o'clock. So um, we're really we're really good about our time management and uh, really, there goes my light. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're really smart about uh, having to go to work tomorrow and whatever, so uh, we're gonna get to it. And uh, if you made it this far on the video, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this, and we will catch you in the next one.